Welcome back. Omar Mateen has worked for the past nine years as a security guard for the company G4S, which has millions of dollars in state and local contracts and has been the topic of multiple I-Team investigations. I-Team investigator Adam Walzer joins us now with what he's learned about the company. Adam? Well, Jameson, in the past three years, we've uncovered that G4S does conduct required criminal background checks, but we've uncovered that the company sometimes hires people with questionable things in their past. When he would get in his tempers, he would express hate toward things, toward everything. Omar Mateen's ex says she left him because he repeatedly beat her, but she described him as a police wannabe. He really loved the police department. He worked as a as a correctional officer or a guard. His first job in law enforcement with the Florida Department of Corrections ended after six months. A former co-worker told Orlando ABC affiliate WFTV Mateen was fired for bringing a gun on Department of Corrections property, but the DOC has not yet confirmed that. Records show Mateen did get a job with G4S about two months later. While working at this gated neighborhood, a G4S co-worker reported to supervisors Mateen had disturbing and threatening behavior. He also had a lot of hatred for people, um, black people, women, Hispanics, nor did he like um, gay or lesbian people. The FBI also questioned him three times for alleged ties to terrorists, but they never charged him. And G4S never fired him, according to the company. You weren't surprised at all to find out that this man worked for G4S. No, I, 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 was, I was sad. Former G4S employee Nick Plummer did not personally know Mateen, but has contacted the state repeatedly about his concerns involving G4S's training and background checks based on his past experience in law enforcement. It's and wide open for terrorists to, to come and work for the security industry. G4S has had other issues regarding employees' backgrounds. Another former DOC employee fired for having sex with an inmate went to work for G4S and was later arrested for allegedly molesting a child. A former Pasco County deputy who resigned with a long disciplinary history also got a job with G4S, then allowed a prisoner to be beaten in the back of a transport van. He eventually ended up dying, and we reported extensively on a Polk County riot in which teens overtook a G4S facility, largely due to poor training. We reached out to G4S, but have not yet heard back from them. In addition to local and state contracts, G4S also has contracts with multiple federal agencies, including the Department of Homeland Security. I'm I-Team Investigator Adam Walser, taking action for you.